the existence of permanent masses of ice at the poles as today exists in Antarctica, Greenland, and over the Arctic Ocean. This occurrence has been infrequent in the past 500 million years. It seems that this becomes more likely when a land mass occupies the area of the poles, perhaps because this would limit the flow of ocean currents which could redistribute at water of varying temperatures around the planet. In the late Cenozoic, not only did Antarctica exist at the South Pole, but a ring of continents surrounded the Arctic. And it seems that the land masses which prevented ocean currents from redistributing heat across the planet's surface played a role in the onset of the Ice Ages. Immediately prior to the onset of the Ice Ages, Central America joined South America, which would have blocked the flow of water from the Pacific into the Atlantic, which had occurred prior to this. Given that ice ages ensue shortly after this event, it is quite likely that this change in ocean currents and the redistribution of water of different temperatures across the planet's surface once again played a role in determining the onset of ice ages.